going to talk about this guy. The famous OTC leak tamer thing. This thing cost me $945. Is it worth it? No. So basically this is just your DIY smoke machine. Except it's got this guy. But basically there's a ball in there and it just if it's moving that means there's a leak. If it's stable, that means there is no leak. But I mean, if there's a leak, you'll see it. Uh, you'll see smoke coming out of the leak. So I don't know if I really. I mean, I enjoy this feature, but not for a thousand dollars. I don't think it's worth worth a thousand dollars. So what this machine comes with comes with this UV light. I got one for like four bucks, I think. And it does like regular light, UV, and freaking laser. I guess you'll point at things with lasers when you do uh, evap theft, I guess. Comes with this adapter. Again, let's say this is like what, 20 bucks? Another adapter, uh, valve stem hook, this one dollar adapter, comes with two, and then this vacuum hose with, with uh, AC I think, that's AC, and it's AC adapter, and then it comes with these guys. And a freaking uh, eye protection, yellow eye protection. That's all that comes in the box. So it does a great job, by the way. It does an amazing job. I mean, it blows smoke. That's all it does. You turn it on, and it just turns it on. It's got these alligator clips. And then you hook up the alligator clips to a battery, turn it on. Oh, I forgot, it comes with these two tubes, which you can get like for 10 bucks off of Amazon. Way too much as well. Just get baby oil. I like this, but I am not a guy that buys stuff for $1,000. I mean, I buy a giant toolbox which I will show you guys in the near future when I do a review of that that's the engine we took out of the E90 I mean I, I pay top dollar for stuff that's worth the money smoke machine I think this thing is worth I mean let's be realistic this thing is probably worth I'm gonna give it like my best shot. Two hundred dollars. This line is four bucks. So two oh five. These adapters are like thirty, two thirty-five. Two bottles of these. Two fifty. Three hundred bucks. I would buy this thing for three hundred bucks. Nine hundred and forty-five? Hell no. I don't think this thing is worth that money. I try to contact OTC to get them to send me one so I can review it for you guys, but they uh, ignored me. So I don't think you'll get really good customer service because if they didn't even you know uh, interact with me, I don't see how they're serving their customers. Uh, I'm not pissed off because they didn't send me one. I, I understand the, the cost is too much. They get a lot of people that want to get them for free. But uh, what I'm seeing here is, <clears throat> what I'm seeing here is, you know, they they could have told me, hey, we don't do that. We we we'll give you like a ten percent off, or you know, I'm pretty sure they make at least seven hundred dollars off this thing. And for them not to just 
not even interact with me, that wasn't pretty cool. I'm gonna put this this thing to test. The explorer right there. My explorer, I'm getting ready to sell it. Uh, it's got a oxygen sensor code and I know that the code is caused by the vacuum leak that it has. So I'll bring you guys along. I'm gonna hook up the leak tamer, so to speak, and show you what it does. Alright, so we're under the hood. I'm gonna block the uh, intake port or the intake boot with one of these, and then we'll smoke it through this guy right here. So, uh, here's a leak tamer. I've already connected it. You will need air connected in the back. Compressor is right next to me today. Okay. And then you gotta take off. Some eight millimeter. Take that off. Undo the boot. Pretty sure it's this one because it's dirty. I'm gonna tighten it just to make sure we're sealed. And then take this sucker. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna do it with the other adapter. Oh well, yeah, you can use that too. I guess you got you got a feel of how that looks like. And then you get this guy. You uh, just hook up the plastic piece to here and then you turn it on right here so hit that button the red light turns on now it's smoking hopefully you'll be able to see Smoking a little. So, so far I got nothing, but this car has, like if you turn it on and let it heat up a little bit, it will definitely start smoking. See right now it's smoking a little bit. There we go. I'm getting some smoke. You see it, hopefully. We're getting some smoke from the back. The 
go. I got a bunch of it right now coming out of the intake manifold. Get a light. Now you see it. See that? Smoke is coming out of the intake manifold. Uh, Check out my video of uh, placing the intake manifold gasket because I'm going to be doing that next along with the thermostat. It will be two separate videos but this is how it looks like. So it does a great job at smoking. I'm going to show you this right here. See that? That's a lot of smoke. But that's basically pretty much what you can get with a DIY smoke machine. I'm turning it off right now. So that's all there is to it. Uh, you need, you definitely need one of those to test evap leaks. Very good tool to have, but like I said, is really too much. I wouldn't pay a thousand dollars for something like that. I'm gonna make me a DIY one. I'm gonna post it on this page on this uh, channel. Uh, it's gonna cost me pennies on the dollar. Just probably, I'm thinking like 40, 50 bucks. You know, that's, that beats the hell out of. I can buy all the all the adapters, oh, I can make me one of these super simple and it'll be way cheaper than you know thousand dollars you know I may have one if I was at a shop I just wanted to look good because I really don't want to have like a can testing evaps with but I mean I right now working from my out of my garage I think uh a DIY evap tester will be uh, suitable for me. So that's my uh, review. Showed you everything that came with this tool. I showed you what it does. It does a great job. Um, you know, it tells you if there's a leak, it will. Uh, this. Uh, this bowl right here. There's a bowl right here. Can you, can you see it? There you go. This bowl right here goes up. And starts to shake. When it's shaking, that means there's a leak. I guess if it's, uh, if this, if it's leveled with this red one, that means there's a leak. I haven't read the manual, normally don't, not for something like that, it's pretty simple. But yeah, this is my review, OTC is a great company, I'm not against them or their products, but I think the leak timer is overpriced, maybe in a few years when it's like $300 I'll buy it, but right now I'm not, way too much. Uh, this is my review, this is Ryan. BMW Doctor signing off.